Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am taking you on an excursion I went on with a company called Van and Travel. This was a day-long excursion so we left around 5.30 in the morning from Santo Domingo and then we headed up to Rio San Juan which is a small town in the northern area of the Dominican Republic. I had never been in this region before, the farthest I've been up north is Las Terrenas. So this is my first time in this area and let me show you what our trip was all about. Despite the name Rio San Juan, it's just the name of a town, it's not a river, but we did go to several places that were along the ocean. First, we started in Laguna Grigri, so this is a lagoon. As we were traveling in the boat, there was a tour guide telling us all about these mangrove trees, how they sprout their roots from anywhere on the tree that feels weak rather than just all coming from the trunk, which gives them their unique appearance. And you can see how the water level changes as the tide goes in and out, because this will eventually lead out to the ocean. He also pointed out some herons in the trees and how their babies were just all sort of scattered in one of these trees, and they would wait for their parents to come back for them in the evening. As we were traveling out in the ocean, one of the things the tour guide pointed out to us was this yellow coral. So I'll give you an in the water look at it right here. Now we have come to our first stop, which is La Cueva de las Golondrinas, that means the Cave of the Sparrows. So we'll be going into this straight from the ocean, we didn't get out. This cave is 36 feet deep, and I'll try to include some of the sound here, it was really cool how you can hear all the swallows chirping around inside of the cave.
Now we came to our second stop, which is called La Piscina Natural, the natural pool. And you get out here, we enjoyed the water. It was very beautiful, the water was so clear. Over on the rocks, we got to see some creatures like some crabs, some sea urchins, as well as some chitin, which I learned about from my sister. They are these creatures that just spend their whole lives in one place on these rocks and then eventually begin to fossilize into the rocks. We got back into the boat and then we passed more rocks. We saw some statues here as well as this Puente Natural, which was naturally formed over the years of erosion. Additionally here you'll see some white statues. This one is La Reina del Mar, which is the queen of the sea. And there will be some other statues up ahead. These are all formed by a local artist. Now if you look up ahead here to the right, you'll see La Cara del Indio, like an Indian face. You can see the side profile. This is also something naturally formed, which just got its name based on the appearance. Now we are arriving at our first beach of the day, which is called Playa Caletón. Here there were lots of fish swimming around, so it was really cool. I got some underwater footage of lots of fish. From there, we hiked up to Playa El Ponton, which is a little opening in the trees. It's kind of, it feels more like a lake, but it is the ocean. You can see it opens right up to the ocean. I guess it's considered a beach because of this tiny, tiny little patch of sand it had. We were on the other side, we didn't even have sand, it was just dirt, like a normal forest. Here's a shot of that little, little, little tiny beach. 
honestly rather daringly hilarious <laughs> how small it was. After that we got back in the bus and we went over to Playa Grande which is literally the big beach because you can see the sand is very wide, it has a nice spacious area for swimming and it has a really lovely textured dimensional palm tree part to the right which my sister and I really loved and the sand was very hot but the water felt very refreshing, it was super clear, it was so lovely. Then we walked sort of around that palm tree part that I mentioned before to another beach which is called Playa Preciosa, which just means beautiful beach. And it was, it was very beautiful. This one seemed to have the most waves of any of them, with Playa Grande being the second biggest waves. So this was a very beautiful beach as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog of my time in Rio San Juan. It was a beautiful day, we got back around Eight or even earlier around 7 I would say. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!